I just want to say congrats to everybody who are um, around the holidays. And God is saying something through people, um, through social media outlets. A lot of people this year are getting married in numbers I have never, within my seven years, six years of social media, seen so many men stand up and tie the knot. So many men stand up and say, hey, I'm tired of playing these games. I just want to settle down and get married. So big ups to y'all, you know, for manning up. A lot of men, um, you know, don't, don't, don't take heed, don't, uh, don't have the heart in order to marry these women who want to be married. You know, women want to be married. I was told years ago that every woman wants to be married at least once. And, um, you know, these women are getting tired. And they just want to settle down. And, you know, they, they don't want to play any more games, especially if you're over 40. They don't want to play any more games. They just want to have one person that they can come home to every day and grow with and these men are like that too a lot of men are hurt though and don't know how to express you know how hurt they are or how hurt they've been and um you know due to society so i encourage women to get that out of that man's system if you want that man at that next level or to go to that next level, your fiance, your boyfriend, your husband, if you want him to go to that next level, you have to encourage him to get away from what society feels about him and let him know what you feel about him. That helps. What helped me is the walk of God, is what me praying, that helped me a lot. Just. Praying, 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 fasting, just continuously praying and being focused on what I was doing. Whether it was writing, you know, writing how I felt, going to therapy, whatever I needed to do, it helped me. But everybody ain't like me. I continue to say that. A lot of men have to deal with what society or what the world thinks of them. Not what God says about them, but what other people say. They worry about that. They're just as paranoid as women are about that. They're just not as outspoken as a woman. A lot of men have women feelings, y'all. Or, or the way that a woman feels is the same way that a man feels. But a man is more of a target if he feels the same way as a woman. To certain people, he can't feel that same way a woman does. There's no way that society, the man, is going to let him feel that same way. Okay? So I encourage the women. If you want that man to man up, Man them up. Pray about it. Man them up. Encourage them. Let them know that, you know, he could comfort. He could he could be in comfort with you. He could be open and blunt with you. Regardless. Because when he's safe with you, always remember this. When he's safe with you, who he looks to as one, because when you're married, you become one. It's no longer two individuals. So imagine that man, every man wants a man, right? If you look at the average dog out here that's sleeping with three or four women, or sleeping with ten women, or sleeping with two women, he always going to have a main girl. He's always going to have a main, right? You be that man. You be that one and only. 
and you let him know he can confide in you at any time that he, it feels necessary that, that, you know, he feels necessary because like Tupac, like Jay-Z and all of them say, it's me against the world. Uh, my body and Clyde, you have to look at it like that. If you want that man to marry you, if you want that man to be your one and only, you have to claim him, you have to name him, and you have to be there for him. You have to be his comfort. Before he steps out in that world, he has to know that you have his back. That's how you man him up. And he's not afraid. He's confident about who you are as his woman. He's very confident that he could sit there and you will have his back at the end of the day. You will always have his back no matter what. You'd be surprised how many people walked out on me just because of social media or things like that. But then you find people or you find that person who don't care anything about that, you know, and just, and, and you can confide in them and they'll have your back 100% regardless of how much of a fool you act, regardless of, you know, um, what people may think about you out in the open, they will always have your back and watch how you get to that next level. So I challenge you ladies, man. Make that man become a man. I know it's hard. I know a lot of y'all picture that daddy to, you know, him to be like his, be like your daddy. But I could never be like uh, somebody else's daddy. I could only be me. Take me as I am. But you can build me from where I'm at. It takes a lot of patience to deal with somebody like me. So imagine you dealing with somebody that's not like me. It don't take as much patience. So I always remember that. Have that man to be confident and, and, and be able to deal with the world. What up, Reese? I got you. You know I got your back. Jeffrey, you know I got you. Yeah, you're right. It's all about commitment. That one person. One person. That's all you need is one person within your life. And you'll see how far you go. There's too many games out here, but I just wanted to congratulate everybody that's, you know, tying the knot, that took their time. They could have bought so many more gifts than a wedding ring to say, to get down on their knees and say, will you marry me? You know, and I hope y'all are very appreciative of that. Even when you go through hard times in your marriage, you'll always remember that time that that person went out of their way, that dude went out of his way to get down on his knees and say, will you marry me? That's what it's all about. So big ups to the men, man. Women, please be that man's comfort zone. If he can, if he can confide in you, he can confide in the world. You ain't got to worry about, you know, what somebody thinks because it ain't about what somebody else thinks about who you dating. It's about what you think. All right. Just wanted to talk to y'all. Spend time with you a little bit. Thanks for chiming in. Connie, how you doing? How you feeling? If you're still on here, how are you feeling? You let me know how you're feeling. Um, if you need anything, Connie was real sick for a minute. So, um, you know, we got to keep her in prayers. Hope she's doing good. I don't know if she's still on here or not. While I was talking and I was in my zone. Um, but I'm, I'm just happy for, you know, these people that are standing up being engaged. It don't take you five years or ten years to shack with somebody to see whether you're going to marry them or not. You know, because... If you look at it, if you shack with them after two years and you don't get married, then it comes three, then it comes four, then it becomes five, then it becomes six. And all it is is you're miserable being with that same person every day. 
you have a vision that you want to be married. They don't because they're comfortable with being in that comfort zone of shacking up with you. So they feel that they don't have to marry you. They feel that they really don't have to marry you because they're married already. But that ain't what God says. Regardless of a piece of paper or whatever, that's an excuse. That's an excuse. All that is is a contract. If you can sign a contract at a job, you sign you sign papers at a job. If you can sign papers at any deal that you make, then you can sign papers on somebody you go, you plan on being with the rest of your life. Regardless of paperwork, when you go uh, when you go scan these credit cards or, or scan your debit card or whatever, and you don't have a picture ID. You got to sign your name. So anywhere you got to sign your name these days, that is a heavy excuse of not being married, but you shacking, staying with the same person every day, waking up with that same person. Your children are, see are seeing you living with that same person, shacking up with them. If you're man enough or you're woman enough to shack, you're man or woman enough to get married. So I see why it's easier for people to deny God or say so many things about Jesus because basically they don't want to get out of their sin, so they want to convince other people regardless. And other people have to have to call them out on their sin. If you can spend the night with that woman or that man each and every day, if you can spend the night with them and wake up with them, um, and have your clothes in their house, have your toothbrush in their house, have your name signed to the house, all of these things, then you can marry them. That goes for men and women. It's time to step up. So congrats to everybody who uh, has gotten married and, and you know, uh, engaged during the holidays and pick this holiday in order to, you know, um, pick that woman. That ring came before anything else came before whatever they bought their children. And you see the women were happy about it because the women put the ring on the finger. It don't matter the cost of the ring. don't matter how many carrots that you got. It just matters that that man wanted to get you a ring and wanted to get down on his knees I say, baby, I want to spend time. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I don't want temporary. I want you forever. He got down on his knees and said, I want you forever. Don't look at the cost of the ring. And that's for the future, too. Don't ever look at the cost. Just because somebody else's ring is shining more than yours don't mean they're no more happier than you are. They could be the most miserable people in the world. Anybody can get you a ring. Just like anybody can give you money over the holidays. There are people that don't even know me that gave me money. Somebody gave me a $50 gift card. Never even met me in their life. Wouldn't even know me if they walked across me right now. And I wouldn't know them. I don't even know who gave it to me. And they don't even know who they gave it to. So that's very, that's not important at all what somebody gives you outside of their heart so i'm just leaving y'all with that i'm real hungry ain't nobody called me about the iron thunder or text me about the iron thunder so i don't know what i'm gonna do i might just get some cookout and just call it a night but anyway thanks for um coming in people all right congrats